Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to import the USD files we exported from the previous part one of this tutorial. We'll start off with the Omniverse launcher and select localhost in the tree view in order to find some NVIDIA sample projects. You can click and drag the USDs from this folder into the scene, move them around and delete them just like your typical CG or game design software. We're going to load in some stuff a bit later, but first I'm going to load up a custom scene I've created using NVIDIA sample props. Let's find the USD file that we exported from Character Creator and drag it into the scene. You can click on the reset button in the transform area in order to reset the character's transform position to the scene root. If I press play, you can see that the character is already animated with this subtle idle animation. If you can recall from the first part of this tutorial, we exported three different motions though, so let's take a look at how we can change the default motion. In the scene hierarchy, let's dig into our character a bit to find the skeleton. Once we do, you'll find the asset path for the assigned animation in the references section of the property tab. To switch this, we need to find the animations from the motion folder in the content tab. Currently we have the male idle motion assigned, so let's try to click and drag in the other motion simply called idle to the asset path field and then play back. You'll see our character driven by the newly assigned animation. We can do the same thing during playback to see the third motion. Next, let's look at importing separate prop USDs into our scene. In the props folder, there are a bunch of items that have bones but no mesh, and likewise in the mesh folder, there are meshes without bones. If we go into the mesh folder, we can simply click and drag in this pair of jeans as a separate mesh. Basically every mesh that was exported with the character will be in this mesh folder, including the hair and beard elements, as well as all the individual items of clothing, all saved as separate USD files which you can easily click and drag into your scene. Under the props folder, you'll find that each individual motion that you exported previously has also been exported to this folder as an individual mesh, each assigned with a separate motion. Each USD file will be named with the mesh name followed by the specific motion name. If we click and drag this idle mesh in, you'll see that it will be the exact same mesh, however, if we play back, you'll see that it will only move according to that one particular motion. If you want to apply different motions to the same mesh, then make sure that you use the character mesh USD with the skeleton in the main folder, the same one we used before, which will otherwise be in a default T-pose. Keep in mind that for best results, you'll only want to use motions for character meshes that have similar body proportions. Finally, let's take a look at rendering the video in Omniverse. What we're going to render is this simple motion of our character sitting down on a chair. Using the eye icon drop-down menu from the top left, we can make our grid invisible and also toggle the timeline on or off. As you can see, it's a very simple timeline, and as with most timelines, you can scrub back and forth throughout the scene animation. You can add things like DOF and various lighting properties to your scene, but we're going to keep things simple right now and go up to Rendering and then Movie Capture. Here you can adjust the various standard render settings like the frames per second, capture range, resolution, rendering preset, and of course the output path and format. Once you've done that, then just go ahead and capture the sequence. Once it's done rendering, we can play back. That's about all there is to the basics of rendering your character creator characters and animations along with a good looking scene in Omniverse. Be sure to check out our other more detailed tutorials on how you can use Reillusion products together with Omniverse as well as our forums at forum.reillusion.com and I'll see you in the next video.